to Britannia Mine Museum in Vancouver, Canada. Valerie, come hold mommy. May you wanna down on train? Come on. We got time? Okay. Not if she doesn't wear her hat. You gotta wear it on, Val. Look pretty. We have our helmets on and we are ready to get inside the mine. Welcome to Britannia Mine Museum. Is this everyone's first time here? Yes. Oh, that is second time. Welcome and welcome back. My name is Ashley. I'll be your guide. Trivia question for everyone. What? What kind of mine was Britannia? What did we mine here? Copper? Copper, yeah. Britannia was a big copper mine. It opened up in 1904, closed in 1974. trying to make money but they couldn't get any. When you don't have any income, you can't afford to keep things going, so they had to shut down. Oh. Okay, question yes. number two. Why do we need copper? You hold this on. Hold it on. What is it used for? Copper wires? Yeah, copper wires. It's very good at conducting heat and electricity. So copper is used in wires. Keep it Cell on. phones, laptops, refrigerators. We are about to get started on our copper quest, and I need to show you what you're looking for. And we can pass this one around, have a good look at it. You can Whoa. see some shiny, sparkly minerals Whoa. in there. Oh, Yeah. Super exciting. Oh, look, Victor. You Whoa. see those shiny ones? That those shiny are copper. You cannot, if you find anything in the tunnel, and your mom says it's okay, then yes. Yay. But that Can one, we that keep one? Good. This one is Can we keep hers. One? This has lots that of coppers in it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this one is big. <laughs> that's big. So that's called calcopyrite. It's copper bound to iron and sulfur. Mm -hmm. How the sea is going to fly. Daddy. Valerie. Daddy. You Valerie's gonna sit with sit Victor? No, Valerie has to sit with me. There's not enough room. Someone sit right here. Boom. Dad, you're moving the train. Am I? Yeah. Are you gonna sit here, Victor? <laughs> They're move. Dad, my daddy is moving the train. Okay, sis. I see that this okay. is very old. Okay. I see that, there, that this place is very old because look at that sign. Yeah. Very Start the train, and when it starts, it might give a bit of a bump. Okay. Don't worry. It's just to see if your hard hat is on properly. Okay. Okay. You gotta hang on. Okay. Yeah. Oh.
Oh, is that right? Yeah. Wow. That's, that's why I like TNT so much. Oh. That's a TNT? Kaboom. Kaboom. Yeah. <laughs> Hold on, Booyah. You're gonna hurt yourself. Oh, we can get a pickaxe. Well, it's not a pickaxe actually, but Careful. it is a hand tool of some sort. Ooh. Follow me down this way. Hammer? Oh yeah, listen first. Listen. Was found at the very top in the late 1800s. The men knew there'd be a lot more underneath, so they started to dig. But they didn't have these fancy machines to use at first. And they didn't use pickaxes either, but they did use hand tools, shovels, drill steels, and hammers. Mm -hmm. Yes, these are what they used to build their very first tunnels. And this is how they did it. Find a good spot for my drill steel and hammer myself a hole. I'm not getting very far, right? It would take a very long time to drive a tunnel with these hand tools. But the men did a few tunnels, and they sent off the first shipment of chalcopyrite in 1905. With that first shipment, brought attention and investments. So they were able to use air-powered machines early on, like this big drill right here. This is a piston drill, but it gave the men a bit of a hard time. Why do you think that is? Pretty heavy? Large drill. Yeah, it's pretty heavy. Well, you can like this. Yeah. It does have a hand crank, so it makes it a little bit harder to use. This, this drill weighs 350 pounds. Wow. So it takes several men to move it around. It is also very loud. When it starts up, it sounds like a jet airplane taking off. Oh. What do you think the men had for hearing protection? It. Nothing. They like wish they had these earmuffs. Yeah. But back in the day. But back in the day, not they don't have any. Only in the 1960s did hearing protection come into Britannia. So hearing loss was a big problem down here. But it was worth it. We got to that calco pie right faster. But not fast enough. We brought in better, faster, smaller drills in the 1910s and 30s. And those are down at this end. So shuffle along with me here. This thing? What about this thing? Is that the lamp? This is a drill. Yeah. We're going to talk about this one after. 
Today we talk about this one. Um, <laughs> this one, they call this the jack leg. Has that name because of its air-powered leg here. And as you can see, it's a lot smaller than our big piston drill. This one only weighs 100 pounds. That means it can be operated by a single man or a single woman. Because I promised you some loud noises, or at least the gift shop promised you some loud noises. And there are three loud noises on top request, and this drill is the first. So I will turn on the air and give everyone a countdown from three. This is the air, not the loud noise. Victor, cover your ears. Cover your ears. Cover your ears. Victor. What did you think of that? It's loud. loud. It was that loud. loud. Yeah. <laughs> this drill is the quiet drill. <laughs> the piston drill was a lot louder than this one. Okay. So not that one. So not that one. That's why we don't run that one anymore. It's way too loud. Too loud. This, more or less, the job of the drillers. They come in with their equipment. And inside this yellow box, they drill their holes. Like and that thing? Yeah, yep. just like this thing. What do you think they put in those holes? Um, we passed it on the way here. In that red box. <gasps> Explosives. Explosives. Yeah, dynamite. <gasps> oh right? So we drill dynamite. That's right, and we shove dynamite in those holes, and then we set that dynamite off during shift changes. Wow. This yellow box on the wall, though, it was here before all of the drillers. It was here before they drilled those holes. Okay. That's because it's called a miner's bullseye, and it is painted on by geologists and engineers. <laughs> now, mm. I would like everyone to become geologists. We looked at that calcopyrite earlier. You are now going to look for it on the tunnel wall behind you. And if you find any, point it out to me. You can look for a few moments or a few minutes. So you put dynamite in the holes. That's right. Can you touch it? Yes, you can. Now is the time when you can touch the rock. Can you, did you, did you touch it? Did you touch it, Victor? Touch it. Come on. Can we, can we like mine it? Do you have tools to mine it? No. no. Oh yeah, we cannot mine. mine it. You have. <laughs> I thought you would keep us. No, they close it. We cannot mine here actually, not anymore. We're not miners yet. Right now, we are geologists. <laughs> geologists are just looking at the rock. So they have holes right here, Kuya. Oh, they have a lot of holes. Uh, it's so wet. It is very wet and it's also very I wish I had a light. I wish you had a light. Yeah. yeah. That's a really good idea. If we had a better light source, we could find more of that. This thing. This thing. <laughs> Do you have a flashlight? No. Well, what is it? This is like, well, rock. It's called a core sample. I want to it's a core sample. And the core sample comes oh, out of the drill. Oh, well, it comes out of that big drill. Oh, right. It is very cold. That's because it lives in the tunnel. But it's also very small. I'm going to know my boy, but I'm going to know. Yeah. Yeah. Also, it's not that big. Yes. So is this the rocks inside the rocks? Yes. So if we wanted to read the rock from hundreds of feet beyond where we can see, then we use those drills. So uh -huh. the rock comes Why out of water? the drill. Oh, yeah, please. Water? Vincent, please. Because there are tiny, tiny holes in the rock, and it rains, and the rainwater goes through the tiny holes in the rock. Yeah. It comes out, and it makes a puddle. Ooh.